What's up, everyone? It's Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Washington Commanders versus Carolina Panthers. Uh, NFL preseason matchup going down Saturday, August 13th, 2022. Before we get to that free pick, got to let you guys know at PickDogs.com, we're doing it bigger and better than anyone else. Got more free pick videos on our channel than you'll find anywhere else on YouTube, so make sure you're subscribed and also make sure you take advantage of our free sportsbook bonus offer. The link in the description of this video below. Also in the description of this video below, click that join button for more information on our YouTube VIP package. Great way to get yourself more premium content for an awesome price. The VIP pass, just over three bucks a day, gets you premium picks from myself and Mitch, as well as add-on plays and player props that we like just as much. And uh, even the premium pass for just 50 bucks a month, just over a buck 50 a day, still gets you 70 to 80 plays on average per month. And uh, you know can't go wrong, especially with football season just around the corner, as you can see here. You know, it's a uh, great value because unfortunately as long, you know, as or sorry, as uh, as great as the deals are for long-term passes at Pick Dogs Premium, you're not going to find a single capper's uh, monthly pass or even the 2 for one capper deal for 50 or 100 bucks a month, let alone you got me and Mitch giving you plays every single day with the YouTube VIP Premium. So definitely take advantage of it. Still one of the best values going in sports handicapping today. But let's get to this one. Between the Commanders and the Panthers, and the Commanders era begins with the... Uh, Quite a few moves made, you know, compared to last year's team. There was really no continuity. Ryan Fitzpac Fitzpatrick got injured earlier in the season and was left to Kyle Allen and Ta Taylor Heineke. Heineke still in the uh, in the Commanders rotation at quarterback, but now it's Carson Wentz that's leading the charge in Washington. You also got uh, former North Carolina Tar Heel uh, Sam Howell thrown in the mix as well. But for me, the Commanders have one of the more balanced running back groups in the entire NFL. You've got Antonio Gibson, J.D. McKissick, and former Buffalo Bull Jared Patterson uh, in, in the mix there, as well as Brian Robinson. And, you know, Terry McLaurin's been sort of a do-it-all receiver from them. Brought in uh, Curtis Samuel. But we got to kind of see how the Commanders are going to fare. You know, Wentz has had that high ceiling, but he's also, you know, had issues to a, staying on the field and staying healthy. So, again, I want to see what kind of Carson Wentz we're dealing with with, uh, with the Washington Commanders. But on the other side, for the, for the Carolina Panthers, this is a team that's had you know some roster flux over the last couple years themselves. And now it's Baker Mayfield as the top guy in Carolina after a, you know, a disgruntled exit in, uh, in Cleveland. And he's still got Sam Darnold behind him. And the thing about the Panthers is that Matt Rule, head coach, has said, you know, we're not announcing, you know, a full-fledged starter until after the Patriots game, which I believe is next week for the Panthers. You still got, you know, guys competing for roster spots, and they're competing for roster spots all the way up to the top. As you can see with Bayfield, Darnold, even uh, Ole Miss Rebel, Matt Corral thrown in there, as well as uh, XF, I think it was XFL stud uh, PJ Walker thrown in in, uh, in the mix himself. So, you know, and the thing for me in this one is that I still think that there is a lot of talent across the board here, especially if you're going to see a series or two from the top end uh, units, the top strings of each of these two teams. I think this is just going to be a, a, a very exciting back and forth game. Wouldn't surprise me if one of, if not both te these teams got into the low to high, tw uh, sorry, low to mid 20s here. I think total of 37, just too low, even for a preseason game. I think this one finishes up into at least 40 range. So I'm going to go with the over 37 in this one. That's going to be my free pick. But if you're looking for best bets for myself or any of our other world-class handicappers, check out Pick Dogs Premium and use this promo code here, AUG15, AUG15, all one word, all lowercase, for 15% off your purchase at Pick Dogs Premium. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Let's cash some winners.